Elijah has changed over the years. He's given up. You won't be lonely anymore. You have two new friends. Well, this new movie, Glass, it's like, seems like a, a long process, mm -hmm. since Unbreakable and then Split. Yeah. And uh, I've read you, you, you thought everything at once in the beginning. Is that true? How, how it, it was this whole process? I guess in 1999, when I made Unbreakable, I was writing Unbreakable and I wanted to do a trilogy and I wanted to make it about comic books. And at that time, really, that hadn't been done. And uh, when I put Unbreakable out and people kind of thought of it as Sixth Sense Part Two because it was me and Bruce, there was a little bit of a confusion about the movie. And I think that you know, kind of threw me for a little bit. And I said, okay, I'm not going to do that trilogy right now. But I had all the notes down for what the next movie would be, which would be Split. That was the, the movie that I was going to do next in the trilogy. And then in the last one, I knew that all three characters would come together and they would essentially kind of fight for the loyalty of Kevin Wendell Crumb. You have a, a very good cast in this movie. Yeah. And uh, tell me a little bit about how it was to put together Bruce, Samuel, and McAvoy. If you think like Bruce and Sam from Unbreakable, and then Anya and James from Split, and then Sarah Paulson from the new movie, and I get to put all these characters together on screen, it was really a dream, a dream come true for me. Um, and the first time they were in the room together was very special. Everyone who was in the room knew something very special was happening. And what can we expect from the Sarah Paulson character? Well, I wanted to have uh, a very strong female character who plays their psychiatrist, and I wanted to make sure that she could be really strong with them, could be as funny as James was, could be as intense as Sam and, and Bruce, and be compassionate, because she really wants them to be um, better. I want to believe in real-life superheroes. Like every kid in the world. But I'm still waiting. And yet, we exist. Convince me. We live now a very strong moment for superheroes in movies yeah. and TV shows. But how do this movie and these characters, characters relate to, to this moment? You know, it's interesting that I, I did Unbreakable uh, before all of this started. And then now, this many years later, 18, 18 years later, um, we're in this kind of the zeitgeist of the world is comic books. So what I wanted Glass, Glass to be, Vidro, is to be a comment on all the comic book world and, and why comic books are so popular, why comic book movies are so popular. Right. You have a favorite comic that somehow inspired you? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely Spider-Man was... Felt, felt the most grounded, you know, real, you know, I, I could get bitten by a spider, I could, it could have these things, you know, the, and, and I guess his, uh, his personality felt very relatable. I don't know if you know a lot about comic books, but, you know, when Marvel, the difference between DC and Marvel, Marvel decided to make more character-driven comic books. So they said, yeah, our, our superheroes are superheroes, but they have to pay the mortgage. So that was kind of a, a saying that Stan Lee had. And I liked that. And then, you know, I wanted to even go, you know, further with the character driven stuff. So to really talk about what if you were a normal dad and a normal this person, a husband, but you someone told you you were a superhero. You have some ups and downs in your career. There is something that you regret. Well, you know, you can't as an artist, I guess as a person as well, you can't have, you know, a clarity about something or a complexity about something without going through the different moments of your life or going, hey, I feel lost or I feel I, I feel strong now and where does that come from, that clarity? You know, I feel really good right now. And that you have to, you know, see all the different aspects of, hey, I don't like this. I tried this, I don't like this. Or, you know, this one wasn't successful. This one's really successful. What does it all mean? You need to have that, that movement. Split was number one in most countries in the world, and that was the third decade that I've had number one movies in, original movies around the world. That's, I mean, I, that's unbelievable, three decades. So I'm, I'm the most grateful guy in the world for the career. I learned a lot of things, e even in each movie, I learned a lot of things, well, that didn't work, and you know, I should do this better with the actors, or I need to work on pace in this way, or I need to get stronger about blocking or whatever. And I, I take a lot of notes. I'm very self-reflective about um, always being a student. Finally, all of us together for the world to see what we are capable of. You need to get out of here.
What have you done, Elijah? 